Advanced Grade GXS Jack Edge. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2 rs 2 bs Gundam Reviews. Dot net and if pirate action is your thing, whether it's Power Rangers, One Piece, or plain old Gundam Age, well, Captain Ash is gonna have some company there for his Dark Hound. This is the advanced grade supermarket friendly GXS Jack Edge, which should add a nice little bit of pirate crew to their ship. 2012 release, 700 yen, and in the advanced grade line from Bandai, there you can see the name, the Skull Face, and that it's number 22 in the series. As part of the third generation, the GX's Jack Edge is actually just going to be a remold or a variation here of the GX's, which we saw all the way back in Season 1. Wolf's all-white mobile suit has got a blue tinge to it, and again, it's a nice compliment here to the Dark Hound. For the box tour, here you can see the in-game stats, and only two colors there, although he is going to have some different colored eyes. Here you can see a back shot. It looks like it's painted up by a pro. They've done a few things there with the thrusters that I suppose you could go on. And you'll notice that they ignore the pilot component completely. And after the appeal to call you out to sea to go play the arcade game in the supermarkets, you can see down here from the block build system that it looks like it's going to be gray with some bluey purple on top and not much else in terms of colors. All right, so now to see what's inside the box, you can see that you're going to be getting some blue, some blue, some blue, and some yellow. Don't forget that the directions and everything else that you'd usually get in the instruction manual is included inside the box. There are actually a few colors inside, but you can see here from the A1 plate, which is going to have that blue that's going to pretty much dominate the color scheme, and that the actual plate construction here, it's listed as GXs and it's identical to Wolf's old one. The A2 plate is also GXs and again is identical, but if you take a look at that manual inside the box, You'll see that tons of these parts are not going to be used. They're going to be replaced by their own Jack Edge custom parts. The B plate is going to provide the color in the form of the inner frame there, the weapon, and those big hands, again, identical to the man, the myth, the wolf himself. So what is the extra 100 yen for? Well, it's for this D plate, and hard to believe, but you're going to be getting two shields. The only difference being is that on the previous one, yes, it's got that wolf mark with no seals to go over it. Anyway, it's going to be sort of cool to try to do a blue wolf up here. Anyway, you're going to get the parts needed there for the very unique skull face that it's going to have there, looking pretty cool, uh, very G.I. Joe-ish there. The unique shoulder parts are also going to go on and look pretty sharp. But with a cool looking C-plate here, with Wolf we had a green one as usual, but with this case, obviously the pirates are going to have a yellow theme. This is the same as the Dark Hound here for the eyes, and something else that I'm a big fan of, B2, so it's going to be the same grey. But you can see here that it's Jack Edge in terms of the name, and you're going to have a very cool looking bayonet slash slashing knife there that you can add as a weapon. You'll be getting gauging chip 22 as well inside, but it's still more cool to look at this. Sort of a poor plate design, I'd say, just in the fact that you're going to be wasting so many wolf custom parts. But then again, only an extra 100 yen and you're going to be getting that big D plate and the extra bayonet. And the fact that it's not going to be monocolor, well, I mean, both of these are only two colors. Nonetheless, I think this one's going to stand out just a little bit more compared to the GXs. Seems like a plus so far. When he's all put together, I'm going to say that he stands out for a few reasons, although it's really not going to be thanks to the colors at all. The blue is certainly very different from the black that you'll see on some other kits, especially the Dark Hound, but it does set off a little bit with that gray, although really not all that much. You're not going to see any inner, any inner frame there, which you'd expect for an advanced grade. You will see a little bit on the waist and the arms there, which is looking good. The rifle does stand out a little bit more because of its size and shape there as opposed to the actual colors, but I do have to say that the amount of details that were carved into the shoulders and especially to that face, I'd say really helped this guy stand out. The only problem being is that they do go to the trouble of giving you the third color in the form of the yellow eyes. Similar to the Dark Hound, at least he's just got the he's got an eye patch to blame. This guy, no excuse, but it really, unless the head is all the way up, you're not going to see it. But then again, it looks like we've seen that head design somewhere in Japanese anime before. Remember, there's absolutely nothing to advanced grades in terms of posability except for the arms going up and down. That's going to be a little bit offset, though, because all you have to do is bring that gun forward and it's going to look pretty cool thanks to that attachment part and the bayonet. Which is pretty cool the way it's designed, except for the fact that, again, it's notoriously thin there, although it does have the sight on there. But you can take this blue part and pop that right off so you're not even going to notice that it's different from wolves. And then you can pull out the bayonet, 
just uh, I'm sure you'll lose that pop off that gray part get this out and then you are gonna actually have some play options in terms of posability and purely on style terms I think that weapon is something much more out of one piece than out of Gundam and that's a good thing for this pirate theme in terms of comparison I thought the blue and the gray was pretty okay again it's not gonna offer that much contrast but when you see it next to the Dark Hound, well, that's really got the color scheme right there with the gray, the two shades of gray there on the arms, and that black, which just looks so much better than the blue, I'd say. Not to mention the fact that he's got the white and the red details all around. Next to the H3 Orbital, again, you can see the difference that multiple colors makes there compared to just sort of the almost monotone that the Jack Edge is going to pull off. But in terms of silly comparisons, this is something that's actually a little bit of fun. You've got Wolf's GXs from back in Season 1. And remember that you're going to have some wasted parts for the jack edge. You're going to get the shoulders, the head, and the shield. The only difference with the shields being that this guy has the wolf insignia on there. But that means you could actually make a pretty goofy looking wolf G-axis there. Or you can properize these and you can see the G-axis the way it's supposed to be with the shoulders. Again, I give this one the edge just because it's got those cool little slashes on there. And the pointy shoulders seem to be more fun than these ones jutting off to the side. And again, the head sculpt, I guess it depends on your preference, but again, yeah, what anime is it? It just seems to be a lot more standout-ish here on the pirate. And then just to really mix things up, you can have two wolf GXs recreated here perfectly. The only thing that this one is missing is this high quality cutout from the cardboard box put on with some scotch tape, but otherwise they're pretty much identical in every way except for the eye color and that main color, and it's just another cool bonus of this and it seems to be worth that extra hundred yen. And you can do silly stuff like this if you want another homage back to Crossbone Gundam. How many variations did that X1 have? I'm talking about the X1, X3 hybrid there. In terms of a final verdict, it's going to be really positive here for this AG Jack Edge for just a couple reasons. First of all, it's only an extra 100 yen, and you're going to be getting two new plates in the form of the D-plate, and that very cool bayonet and the attachment point, which I really think stand helps this guy stand out. You are going to get the extra silly stuff if you want to do wolf variations, which probably most people aren't going to do. But a black wolf, on the other hand, seems like a cool combo to go with the white wolf. But it's the bayonet and the playability that you're going to get from an AG. You don't really expect it, but you've got the rifle mode, you've got the in-hand mode, and you've got that very cool one where it's down there. And especially just the amount of effort that they went into with the three big blue parts there for the head, the spiky shoulders, and the yellow eyes. Yes, it's really dull in terms of the colors, but as in terms of most of the monocolor AGs that we've seen, this is way up there, certainly one of the best, and I think it's a great way if you wanted to fill out your third-party army for age. So it seems like the Jack Edge is popular enough to warrant the AG and the HG. Of course, that's helped by the economic sense, dollars and cents of just the fact that it's a slight remold. I wonder if we'll see the same, though, for the Shell Doll. But again, it's just pretty cool to have this pirate army to set up that whole third party for your age war on your shelf. Anyway, everybody, why don't you let me know what you think of this kit, the characters. We haven't seen too much of the actual pilots. But in terms of cannon fodder, how does it rank up there? I love the uh, whole X2 theme that we're seeing between these guys here. But anyway, everybody, why don't you let me know what you think of this video and everything else, and stick around for lots more AG, HG, and everything else from age. Thanks for watching. In terms of captains throwing down in a battle, I think we'd be pretty fun. But yeah, our first mates, Zoro up against your guy, there's really no chance.